I changed the oil in the go-kart, it was milky. Actually, I have it here. Bad. It looks like they were running it. Looks like the previous owners were running it with oil in it, or with water in the oil, which is very bad. So, it won't run with me sitting on it. It stalls out, and it won't idle property, properly. And uh, it's really rough, so I just turned up the idle a bit, and I'm just gonna allow it to run for a while. And I've heard it said, and in my experience as well, it's good for an engine to just be run. You ever hear somebody say an engine needs to be run? Well, I think that's the case here. It's smoothing out as I sit here. That's the idle speed. Out. It's been sitting for who knows how many years. I know it was sitting for quite a few years because the guy I got it from, it was sitting on his land. Oops. There's what I mean. that run for a while. Hopefully it'll smooth itself out. That's a bouncy thing. That back wheel is bent. I hope it's not the axle. If it's the axle, there's nothing I can do about it really for now. I don't have a workshop to bend that in straight. Now I'm going to let that run for a while and clean itself up. I can't find my sea foam. I might have used it all. Now over here, I'm preparing the trailer to be moved. I'm getting all the boards out from here. And, well, I'm going to leave that one for last. But I'm getting all the boards out from around where I had all the jacks. Everywhere I had jacks, I'm moving them. Oh, wow. I must have disturbed a ant nest. Oh, I did. I know I did. Can you see the ants all over? I moved the garbage pile out of my way. So... I probably made them mad. I've got all the jack stand supports. I had two jacks up here in the front. So I'm getting all that out of the way. And I'm going to put the... I'm going to leave actually this one jack on for now because I'm going to have to put the wheels under the tongue and hope that the ground is firm enough for this to work. That worries me with that little roller that I've got that the ground might not be firm enough. So I'm going to continue cleaning this all out and get that up on the on the little roller and see if I can get this out of here. I actually just took this for a spin. It uh, just has no throttle response though. So I didn't put the air filter on yet because I'm just playing with it still and tuning it. Oops, that's going to want to die while I'm looking on the camera. I think I'm going to get some sea foam in town for it. Because it's not a happy uh, machine right now. Oh, my seat back fell off. But, uh, 
it needs to be run, it needs to be cleaned. I think I'll get the sea foam for it. But look at it idling now. It just, it has no throttle response. You can punch the gas all day long, it doesn't do a thing. The, uh, the valve moves here, but the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, Governor isn't uh, isn't doing anything. Gonna want to die as I'm sitting here. I'm gonna put it up back up on the jack. I've got my trailer in that little dolly. That's the tongue in the trailer. Now I'm gonna kick my jack out. No more safety. And then I'm going to run over here and put a little bit of tension on the wheels. Now my brake on that mower doesn't work, so this is going to be fun. I'm going to put tension on the wheels, on the, uh, put that, this chain on here, put some tension on. I'm going to set my camera down out of, out of the way, hopefully out of danger. I hate to hurt my camera. And let you enjoy the show. Let's see what happens. Sure hope this works. Make sure I'm recording.
and dirt. That's the problem. I can't see what I'm fighting with here. The tongue <sighs> fell off into the dirt deeply. No wonder I can't move it. And the ground is sopping wet, so that's an issue as well. Everything is complicated right now. It's all wet. in this tractor would be perfect. Put a hitch on that thing and be hooked up. There's no way to put a hitch on it. Who will? this way off that board I so put the board on the other side of the tongue that's what I'm gonna do and there's not much room in the maneuver at all well you won't believe this it's turned around now this is the weirdest thing I had my mower on there and I was jerking on it and I was pulling on it actually I was talking to the camera 
At the moment I was talking to the camera, some guy walked up out of here in the middle of the forest out of nowhere. <laughs> this guy walks up out of the forest looking for his long lost dog. Um, the dog ran away about a mile down the road through the forest over this way and the guy was looking for his dog. Pops out of the woods right here while I'm talking to the camera and helps me manhandle this trailer around. Would you believe that? This stranger comes up here out of the here out of the middle of the forest and I mean looking for his lost dog and helps me manhandle this uh, trailer frame around. Now we use the what we did you can see the scrape marks on this board. This is the flooring from my old um, camper floor and we had this I don't know if I should try to take it back or not. It's pretty rough now. Oh, my back is sore. This dolly thing wasn't working very well. Two wheels out of three bent. Made in China. Uh, well, anyway. It was supposed to have a 200 pound um, or so capacity. And normally it should have managed. I mean, all it was doing was rolling. But what would happen is that would catch on the ground and then it ripped the wheels. So what we ended up doing, the simplest thing in the world, a lid from a food jar. Put it on there, put the, the uh, jack on there and slid it along the board using the tractor and a chain to maneuver this thing. I can't believe it. Start it out. Hook the tractor up over here to the front and pulled it and pulled it and pulled it, adjusting the boards as we went and swung all the way around. Came around here and maneuvered it in place and there it is. Done. Ah, uh, that. I would not have gotten that done alone. No way would I have gotten that done alone. I mean, what is the chance of having somebody come out of the middle of the forest looking for his dog? Seriously? Uh, there's nothing around here for a long way. I know a lot of people have seen it on Google Maps. But I got my space in here as I wanted. I got a little bit of space. Um, eventually I might move this trailer out a little bit further once I get my truck home. Just move, maneuver it. I want to maneuver it a little bit over more, but we're both hurting pretty bad by the time we got this this far. I'd like to have the wheels out a little bit further. Actually about three feet more. But honestly, that was it for us today. That was too much work. Now, if I can ever hook this up to the lawnmower, but I, I can't figure a way to get that on there properly. So, I'll wait for my truck. I want to move that truck camper eventually anyway. Um, oh, by the way, I put the camper on Craigslist. My survival camper I put on Craigslist so I can try to get some cash. So I hope it goes. I put that up for sale. I'm going to sell it with a set of solar panels and an inverter and a battery bank and all LED lighting. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then I'll have the money for my home. And there it is. Now we've got a storm. Sorry, I couldn't show you. Another guy who uh, is on disability and didn't want to be seen on video. But uh, I just heard thunder off in the distance, so it's time to close things up again. Got a thunderstorm moving in again. Every day, every day it rains. So I'm going to pack up my tools. Well, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world in the very wet off-grid project. The project is uh, construction on the tiny house is delayed again by rain. Um, pretty crazy weather. Crazy weather. It's got to be El Nino. I was studying a little bit about El Nino last night, wondering if that's what's affecting this Continuous rain. We'll have sunny mornings and rainy afternoons right now every day and rainy evenings um, Somebody asked me once if I saw a pattern. Well, I didn't see a pattern last year, but this year I do 
So right now the sun is trying to show through, but there's a thunderstorm passing by at the same time. It's really weird. But rain is rain. You can't be working on painting when it's this when it's raining. It is so I wait. Um, every day they say tomorrow is going to be better, and every day tomorrow ends up being forecast for rain again. So we'll see. It's got to break eventually. Well, I'm ready. I am ready to build. Well, I'm ready to finish painting this frame. I want to get this trailer frame painted. I want to get this finished and done so I can start building on it. But, um, yeah, because I just, I don't, I could start building whenever and cover the wood but I don't want to do it without painting that frame that's more important first so I'm gonna go in and have lunch and uh, wait the storm out it's just coming on right now well I'm back it's 5 30 in the afternoon now and there's pools of water at my in my work zone so obviously too wet to work on the trailer frame. Tomorrow they're saying it might be better weather. I really hope that's true. It's really wet out right now. There's some more standing water. My boards I hope are going to be fine. Really looking like a construction zone now. I've got the roofing over here. I've got the flooring over here and the roof trim. And then I've got the floor joists and the door frame over here underneath the tarps. I'm using the camper door frame to hold down the tarps. Doing a good job too. Nothing's moving in the wind. So that's good. Oops, I just got attacked by a mosquito. Yuck. Smashed them all over myself. Well, I better keep moving or I will not be existing anymore. Anyway, um, I don't know what to do now. It's 5.30 in the afternoon and everything's sopping wet out here. It rained for a couple hours pretty steady. So now, I don't know, I think I'm done for the day outside. It was, um, oh, by the way, moving that trailer was a challenge because it was so slippery muddy out there the whole time. That was crazy. But we got it. That's really good. I can see it's very unlevel because you can see it isn't sitting right. So I'll have to level that off as soon as I get a chance. Well, third thunderstorm today. People are asking why am I commenting about the rain all the time? Well, because that's all I have to do. It's raining. This is my third thunderstorm today. It's only 5.30 in the afternoon or 6 o'clock. There's still standing water from the last storm that passed by. And I can hear thunder coming on the next storm. So. Um, the other reason I'm talking about the weather so much is because a lot of people are saying that I'm sitting on my fat lazy butt. Um, you guys saw my butt the other day. It's not fat. Anyway, um, and I'm stalling and just too lazy to work. But the fact is it's just too wet, unfortunately. Oh, I got to hold my hand over my camera. Um, it's too wet, unfortunately, to paint. And I want to do this right. I have to finish the painting. Look at that. It's coming. Oh, I gotta go. I was saying, before I got rudely interrupted, ooh, shut my door. Keep the bugs out. Before I got rudely interrupted by the rainstorm, I was saying that um, some people are saying that I'm just lazy and not um, wanting to work, and that's why I'm sitting indoors, but I don't know if you can hear the thunder. It's off in the distance, but I keep getting thunderstorms every day. It's really annoying. So, yeah, during the thunderstorms, I'm inside working. Somebody said that there's, what was it, more chance of a tree falling on your head than of being struck by lightning. Oh, that's another reason that I shouldn't be out there in a thunderstorm. Um, the wind, I don't know if you can see those trees whipping back there. So, anyway, all the more reason not to be out there in a thunderstorm, actually. And I have friends I'm talking to in the area who are seeing trees down 
and severe damage from these storms. So, yeah, it's dangerous out there. Anyway, I am frustrated. I got paint on my hands today from the trailer frame from Saturday's paint job. It's still not cured. And what time is it now? Ah, that door does not latch well. It's, uh, I can't see the time, but it's early. And that'll be the end for today. That's my third lightning storm today. The third lightning storm today. So yeah, I talk about the weather because it affects everything I do. It stops me from working. I don't mind rain, but we've had thunderstorms continuously and multiple thunderstorms a day. So with the, the lightning striking nearby all the time, I don't know, don't know what it's hitting. It's not my LED light on the pole as some people suggest. Uh, I don't know what it is, but something's bad. It's not my my, my uh, electric fence either, or that would be blown out, and it's not. It's not blown out. I'm sure that would blow out if it was hit by lightning. So, and also the other day when lightning struck out in the meadow again, I had all the AC power off. Anyway, whatever, I don't know what it is, but back to work on the computer. And yes, I do work on the computer a lot. I make money off my websites as well. So, back to it. Well, it has been suggested that I scratch <laughs> building a tiny home and instead build a houseboat. And I'm starting to think that's a wise suggestion. If anybody has a houseboat frame to donate, I would greatly appreciate it. I think I'm going to need it. That was a joke. Don't send me any houseboat frames. But, uh, <laughs> wow. A lot of rain recently. Supposed to, supposed to be clear tomorrow. So, now I got some comments, I know you're going to see this one or two days later, about the price of their spray-on rubber undercoating, where I can get it cheaper. And boy, that sure goes on nicer. Somebody showed me for $2.38 a can, and I paid $10 for one can. If I can find it for $2.38, it would require me driving all the way to, uh, well, it's a 45-minute drive one way, but it sure might be worth it. I wish I'd have gotten that comment earlier uh, in the day and I'd have headed out during all this rainy day. Now this paint is still tacky so it hasn't cured yet and well it's constantly wet. Um, so I hope that's going to be alright. But now that I've lost a lot of days um, I just don't think I'm going to waste any more time on this because it's taken so long to cure and the humidity is going to be high for who knows a couple weeks even yet. So I'm thinking about finding something spray on or something faster to do this frame with. Something that dries super fast. I've noticed that spray on paints are always way way faster. Now they're not as good cover but I'm thinking about one of those rust eating, rust converting spray paints. It's a rust converting primer where you spray it on the rust and it converts it to primer and then a couple cans of black spray paint on top and be done with this thing tomorrow. If it doesn't rain tomorrow I would finish this. I might even go to Walmart tonight. I'm going to check my bank account. I don't have much left but I think I might go to Walmart tonight and see about that because then I can spray this and actually be building my house tomorrow. And I'm really, really anxious to get my house going. I'm so excited and anxious. I want to get going. So I'm going to look into doing that tomorrow. So, yeah. I want to build. I'm ready. I'm excited. I got all the materials here. And the other thing is, I want to get, I want to get the floor joist on. I can do that in a day, I think. I think I can do that in a day. I guess we'll find out once I get to it. 
but I'd like to get the floor joist on and the plywood sheeting on in a day. I don't know if that's pushing my luck, but if not one day, then two days. And get this all off the ground. And once it's on the frame, then I have some construction plastic that I'll lay on top of that and put some tarps on that as well and keep it safe until I can get the 2x4s. Well, mosquitoes are telling me I have to go inside. I want to apologize to anybody who has sent me private messages in the last weeks. YouTube has made another wonderful change without letting us know. Since the 28th, I wondered why I wasn't getting any, any more messages. I keep checking and checking and checking. Since the 28th, there have been no more personal messages. And I couldn't figure out why. What's going on? Where are my messages? So I went to my email and I found messages in my email, but I can't find them here. And I kept, I, since I'm so busy, I didn't even put two and two together. But I just realized I had a ton of new personal messages recently in my email notifications, but on YouTube, I didn't. And so I went to one of my email ones and clicked on messages and found out that YouTube has changed everything. And now I have to go to, let me see, video manager. Boy, this is complicated. If anybody else has experienced this, this is, I don't like change. I don't like change. Now I have to go to community. And then instead of going to my inbox where I always did, now I have to go to messages. So, new thing people, if you get private messages and personal message for, messages from people, you're no longer going to see it in your inbox, it's coming to messages. Bah. So now I gotta go through all these messages. So sorry everybody who has written me in the last few weeks, I'm not ignoring you and I'm not blowing you off. I just didn't see this, I'm really sorry. YouTube makes changes all the time and to make such a major, major change, and move your inbox without telling us. That's, um, that's not cool. So sorry, everybody. I'll get to him now.